The new Alfa Romeo Giulia electric car, 2025, 2026, right? It's coming out. It's going to be based on the Dodge Charger electric vehicle platform. And that's why this car is going to be an absolute disaster. I can tell you now, it's going to be a catastrophic disaster. Now, if you've seen the images of this car, it, look, it looks very, very sexy. I don't even know if it's going to really look like this, but these images that I've just seen, it looks amazing. But the problem with this, with this vehicle, is it's just too heavy. When you have a vehicle that's, that's this heavy, you need massive battery packs to power it. And massive battery packs, they are expensive. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Now, if you're wondering why, why is this vehicle so heavy? Well, the Dodge Charger, it's very, very heavy. But the Dodge Charger, is, it's in a segment all to its own. There's no other electric muscle cars. They don't exist, right? So I can kind of see why the Dodge Charger will have a market. It looks incredibly sexy, in my opinion. A lot of people don't agree with me on that, <laughs> but I love it. There's a lot of fans, EV fans, and muscle car fans in America who love Dodge. And I think it's going to really appeal to those fans, even though it is catastrophically heavy, it is incredibly heavy. It's in a segment all to itself. But the Alfa Romeo Giulia, it's not. It has insane amounts of competition. It's a four-door electric vehicle. Think think about what else is in that market. You've got the BMW i4. <laughs> you've, you've got the Tesla, the new Model 3 Highland. You've got the BMWs. There's so many different EVs in the four-door electric segment. Now, the reason... Why is it so heavy? You're probably thinking, well, why is it so heavy? Why is it so much heavier than other EVs? I made a video, I believe two years ago, showing people the insane mistake it is to try to make a platform that can be dual purpose for EVs and internal combustion. That's the reason, right? They're making this, they're, they're hedging their bets. What happens when you hedge your bets? Generally, you fail in any business. You've got to kind of go all in on plan A. When you say, no, we'll have a plan A, we'll have a plan B, and we'll just combine the two together and hope that one of them works, that's what they're doing. This is a platform that's suited for both EVs and internal combustion, and there is no such thing. There is compromises if you do that. And the compromises mean weight. This is a heavy vehicle because it's not a dedicated electric vehicle platform. That's the biggest reason. And that is going to be a major problem because manufacturers already say, they can't make a profit on EVs. Then why do you think Mercedes is trying to refocus on internal combustion? Because it's not making enough money selling EVs. Now, if you if you make an EV and it's really heavy, right? If it's heavy to begin with, you've got to make a bigger battery pack and then it becomes heavier again. And you've got to make the bigger battery pack, the battery pack even bigger again to, to offset all that weight. It's a big problem. And that's why Tesla is obsessed with weight. Absolutely obsessed with it. Now, BYD say, oh, our EVs, our EV 3.0 platform, it's great because it's, we've combined 13 features into one and it's therefore light, but it's not a particularly light car. It's not. It's not. BYD don't have any particularly light electric vehicles in the segment. Have a look at the new uh, Tesla Model 3 Long Range. That's a, that's a fairly light vehicle for the size of it. Now, this vehicle here is going to be at least a thousand pounds heavier. To get the same range, as a Model 3 Highland, which is what it will be competing with, it will need a much, much bigger battery. Now, because Alfa Romeo won't be mass producing enough EVs to offset all this, they're never gonna make a profit. It's just not gonna, it's, it's going to be virtually impossible. Therefore, what do they have to do? They have to make the price higher. Make the price higher, you don't sell, all right? You cannot make these incredibly heavy electric cars and succeed, it just doesn't work. And Alfa Romeo is not the kind of brand that has enough brand cash A to, to succeed at this. It's not like Bentley comes along and says, hey guys, we've made this um, 8,000 pound vehicle and we're only gonna make 30 of them. So it's exclusive and people go, yeah, I want one, I'll give you 2 million. It's not that kind of, th it's not that kind of brand, is it? Anyway, Alfa Romeo say that it'll use the underpinnings um, known as Stellantis's STLA large modular platform. It has a great deal of flexibility, but what happens when you've got a great deal of flexibility? It's like Volkswagen's platform, right? It's heavy. Volkswagen engineers even say it themselves. They even told me in person, it's heavy because it's too modular. It applies for too many things. It's like a jack of all trades. That means the wheelbase, overall length, the height, and the width is based, um, well, it can change. It can vary greatly. 
And that is a compromise. Anyway, here's the amazing thing, right? Stellantis say that this platform will be used across at least seven different brands and many different models. Internal combustion, EVs, etc., etc. If you if you're invested in Stellantis, I would be very, very concerned about the future. If this is the CEO, his decision. And I don't believe this is the right decision to make. Anyway, the design. The design, I think it looks pretty good. But here's what Alpha said, right? They said, what we designed is a bomb. A bomb. Literally, that's their words. What we designed is a bomb. We couldn't finalize the style of this car without being absolutely in love with it. And now we are. According to the CEO of Alfa Romeo, the design has already been finalized, but we'll have to wait until early 2026 to see the final images. Yeah, what Stellantis and Alfa Romeo need to do is go back to the drawing board. Whatever they design, that's great, but they need some sort of, what? What do they need? They need to do what the Chinese manufacturers are. Use a gigapress. Use some kind of way to stamp that underbody. Use some kind of pressing machines, some sort of casting machines that enable this vehicle to be lighter because having a vehicle this heavy is just not going to work in my opinion. But guys, if you disagree, I'm curious to know. Let me know in the comments and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.